All right, so if you have pretty good basic math skills, this should be a very easy problem to solve without using a calculator. All right, so we have this phrase here, and we need to figure out what this means, and then, of course, calculate the answer. So the phrase or the statement is cube the sum of negative 6 and 4. All right, now, once again, no calculators, but uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, so before I show you the answer, let's take another look at this phrase. So we want to cube the sum of negative 6 and 4. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is negative 8. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face in the A+. Plus. And if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm a bit confused on what the cube is and the sum is. Matter of fact, I just need a overall review of basic mathematics. Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. So the first step in solving any math problem is to make sure you actually understand the question. Now, here we have this phrase, cube the sum of negative 6 and 4. Well, if you're not quite sure what the cube is or the sum is, you're not going to be able to calculate the answer. So let's go ahead and review what the definitions are of the cube and the sum. Matter of fact, I'm going to start with the sum because I think most people are more familiar with this uh, word. And then we'll talk about the cube and then we will uh, calculate the answer. All right, so what is the sum? Well, I think most of you are like, I think it has something to do with adding. Well, that would be correct. All right, so when we have the sum, you're thinking about adding two things. So the sum of 3 and 2 is 3 plus 2. All right, so the sum of 3 plus 2 is 5. Now, uh, the technical definition or a more formal definition is the following. The sum of A and B is equal to A plus B. Okay, now uh, one thing that uh, you may notice here is that I have parentheses around the sum. So anytime you are talking about the sum or difference, you know, subtracting or adding things, it's a good idea to put grouping symbols or parentheses around that operation. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the cube. So we have this word down, so we know what the sum means. So let's go ahead and talk about the cube. So this is not that difficult. So if you're thinking to yourself, doesn't that mean like the power of three? Well, that's exactly what it means. All right, so basically you're gonna take uh, whatever number you're dealing with and you're going to multiply it by itself three times. So if you want to cube two, that means two times two times two, or that's two to the third power or eight. If you want to cube X, that's X times X times X or X to the third power. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full detailed lesson on every single topic. I also cover thousands of problems with full detailed video solutions. I have a ton of additional worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for tests, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so now that we understand the words cube and sum, we can actually calculate the answer to the question. But uh, we have to do this in a certain order. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is figure out the sum of negative 6 and 4. Then once we have that answer, we uh, need to cube it, and then we will have the correct answer. All right, so what is the sum of negative 6 and 4? Well, that means negative 6 plus 4. Now, if you forgot how to add positive and negative numbers, no big deal. I'll show you how you can uh, review and learn this stuff. But uh, we are doing this problem without a calculator. But uh, negative 6 plus 4 is equal to negative 2. So don't feel bad if you don't remember how to add positive and negative numbers. Again, I'm going to give you some uh, great suggestions here in just one second how you can learn and improve in all this stuff. All right, so again, the sum of negative 6 and 4 is negative 6 plus 4, which is negative 2. Now, what we need to do next is to cube that answer. So we need to cube negative 2. All right, so cube negative 2 means what? Well, it means take this negative 2 and multiply it by itself three times. 
So a negative times a negative is a positive. So negative two times a negative two is a positive. Four times a negative two, a positive times a negative is a negative. So the final answer here is negative eight. All right, so another way you can kind of think of this problem is this expression here. So this is the cube of the sum of negative six and four. All right, so here uh, we have parentheses. Again, remember I said put those sums and differences in parentheses. So uh, those of you that remember the order of operations, we have to do what's inside of parentheses first. So negative six plus four is negative two. Negative two cubed is a negative two times negative two times negative two, which is negative eight. All right, so once again, don't feel bad if you forgot any of this, but uh, if you need to review basic math, let me give you a couple quick suggestions right now. All right, now these two courses, I'm gonna leave links to them in the description of this video. So my Math Foundations course is a quick review of basic math, things like positive and negative numbers, order of operations, fractions, decimals, things like that. Uh, but if you want to review basic math and then get into some algebra and geometry, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right, so once again, I'm going to leave links to both of these courses in the description. But uh, if this little video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.